Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're having problems logging into your Windows 8 account. So basically this tutorial is going to show you guys how to reset, reset the password without too much of a hassle. First thing you guys are going to need to do is download the Windows 10 ISO directly from Microsoft's website. And you want to burn it to either a DVD or a USB flash drive and you want to boot your computer from it. So that's basically where we're going to be going with this tutorial, but I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of background exactly how we're going to get into this utility. So I will have a link in the description of the page. It's a Microsoft web page. It's completely fine. Everything we're doing, it's going to go right through the Microsoft utilities, so directly through Microsoft. So just keep an eye out for that link in the description of the video. We're going to be booting our computer from it. So let's say I've tried entering my password here and it just is not working. So what I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to boot my computer from the Windows 8 ISO that I've already burned to a DVD. So I'm going to restart my computer here. And you might have to tap a different key on your keyboard when you're booting up your computer. In my case, it's the escape key to get to the boot menu. You're going to have to look up your specific computer manufacturer. So if you're using a pre-built computer like a Dell, Acer, Asus, it might be different depending on what you guys are using. But in my case, it's the escape key. For some of you guys, it might be one of the function keys to so the F2, F8, F12 key perhaps. So I'm just waiting on the boot menu to load here. So I want you guys pretty much follow along with this process as we go. So in the boot menu, I'm going to go down and select my CD-ROM drive because I burned it to a DVD. Your boot menu might look different than mine. However, most boot menus are pretty consistent in the fact that you use your arrow keys to navigate. You hit enter to select. And if you're booting from a USB, you're going to select USB. So pretty straightforward in that sense. So I am currently highlighted over my CD-ROM drive. So I'm going to hit enter to boot off of my DVD, which it really is a DVD, but it's in the CD-ROM drive. That's how it's being read. So I'm going to just take a second to load up this utility here. Again, you just want to be patient. This process shouldn't take too long. The longest process is probably actually getting the Windows 8 file and putting it on a DVD. That does take some time, so you just want to be patient with that. Okay, so it's just going to say Windows Setup here. You want to go and click Next, and then you want to left click on Repair Your Computer in the bottom left corner of the second prompt. Underneath choose an option, you want to select troubleshoot, refresh, or reset your PC, or use advanced tools. So left click on that, select advanced options again, and then you want to select command prompt, use the command prompt for advanced troubleshooting. So left click on that. Now we're going to have our command line window here. The first thing you want to do is type in whatever drive letter Windows is installed on. Most people should be the C drive, so we're going to do C. If you're not getting a valid path for the file, it's probably because you're not doing the right drive letter. So it could be D, E, F, G. Drive letter could be anything from A to Z. But most people should be the C drive. If you know your Windows drive is a different letter, you just want to swap out the C for whatever letter that is. So I'm going to type a lowercase c and then a colon, so one dot on top of another dot. Basically, you get that if you're going to do a list of items or if you just want to hold down the shift and that key next to the L key on your keyboard so again that two dotted icon and then you want to hit enter now that we're using the C we want to type in CD space Windows again CD and then you want to do a space and then you want to type a Windows like W-I-N-D-O-S W-I-N-D-O-W-S and you want to hit enter. Now you want to type in CD space system32. System32 should be one word and the CD should be its own word. So again, CD space system32. Then you want to hit enter on your keyboard. Now you want to type in REN space UTILMAN dot EXT space U T I L M A N then you want to do an underscore so that little line at the bottom so holding down the shift and the key 
the minus sign key basically next to the number zero on your keyboard. So shift and then that subtraction sign, you want to get that line at the bottom. Then you want to type BAK dot EXE. And then you want to hit enter on your keyboard one time. Now you want to type copy space CMD dot EXE space UTIL M A N dot EXE. Then you want to hit enter. Should say one file copied. And now you want to type exit. So E X I T. Should say note of everything I typed on the screen here. You guys can more than welcome to turn up the resolution of the video. Just take note of exactly what I wrote here. It's important. If you typed it in everything correctly, it should see one file copy when you're done. And then you're good to just type an exit here and then hit enter. Now that we can do that, we just want to go turn off our computer and start into a normal Windows operating system here. So you want to go ahead and just exit. You want to just select continue, exit and continue to Windows 8.1. I hope none of you guys are still running Windows 8. It's been unsupported for a little while now. So we're just going to wait for Windows to boot up. Okay, so now they're on the lock screen. We're going to scroll that up and we're going to go ahead and left click on the ease of access button in the bottom left corner of the screen. So left click on that button one time. Should launch the utilmen.exe. Now you want to type in control space user passwords 2. So again, control and then a space, user, passwords, two, the number two. Don't spell out T-W-O, just type the number two. All should be one word for the user, passwords, two. Space in between control and the user, passwords, two here. You want to hit enter. Now here we go. We are in the user accounts window. So you want to go underneath versus passwords for whatever your username is. To change a password for whatever, click reset password. Left click on reset password. So here you go guys. Now at this point just type in whatever password you want to use. If you don't want to use a password just leave them both blank and then left click on OK. Left click on OK again. You can close out of this command prompt and now if you scroll this up I'm going to leave this blank because I do not want to choose a password so I'm just going to hit enter and it should log us back into Windows. So simple as that guys, do hope I was able to help you out and as always thank you for watching and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.